later. All right, so 8.5b is common logs. And again, you got to learn how to use your calculator and where your buttons are in your calculator and the order to punch things in your calculator because every calculator is a little different, right? We don't use a standard calculator here, so you've got your own. And so, all right, so common logs. What's a common log? A common log is when the base is 10. Common log is when the base is 10. The other thing about a common log is the base is not shown. So here's what's going to happen on the quiz on Wednesday. I'm going to ask you to convert something from exponent form to log form, and it's going to have a 10 base, and you're going to write the 10 in. But you're not supposed to write the 10 in because for common logs, you don't show the base. All right? So, you know, example one there has log 7 in base 10. You're supposed to know that. Again, we don't write it that way, though. We don't write the 10. You're supposed to know that. So when you see log 7, you're supposed to know, oh, there's no base shown. That's a common log. The base is 10. So we don't write it that way, but that's what's there, and that's what you have to think is there. You have to know that. All right, so number two is simply going to be what? If we, if we switch forms on this, so again, think of switching forms. So what's the base? In this case, not shown. It's base 10. Logarithms are exponents, so the exponent is x. And what does it equal? It equals 5, right? So that thing is 10 to the x equals 5. 10 to the x equals 5. And we have a logarithm button on our calculator. And again, it's going to be somewhere there on your calculator if you have a scientific calculator. If you don't, lots of luck. Uh, if you've got a real fancy calculator that's probably a, like a graphing calculator, you may have to go into a submenu to find it. But most of you, if you just have a standard calculator, it's going to be somewhere on the face. You're going to have a log button, and above that log button, you should have a 10 to the X button as well. So you're going to have a log button, you're going to have a 10 to the X button, and those are going to be there. So number three, again, if you were to convert this, you would think it's something like 10 to the X or Y or Z, whatever variable you pick, equals 32.2. All right. So again, it's important that you know what it is because then you can also interpret your solution, your answer. Now, for example, number two, x has to be a value of less than one. Would you agree? Because 10 to the first is 10, and it's got to equal five. So it's got to be less than one. So we know that the value of x has to be some value less than one, point whatever. Number two, X has to be between what two values? So number two, or I'm sorry, number three, log 32.2. X has to be between what two values? One and two, right? Because 10 to the first is 10 and 10 squared is 100. So we know that X is going to be somewhere between one and two. It really helps to, to understand that because it's easy to punch a wrong button in your calculator. One, you could punch it in incorrectly. Or two, you can put a wrong number in, right? All you guys text, right? Your texts are always perfect, right? There's never a missed character or anything in there, right? Well, it's the same thing with punching in your calculator, especially if you're just doing it quick and you're just punching buttons. So be careful, be careful, be careful. Be careful. All right, let me move my shade down here. All right, so let's forget it, shade. You're going. Goodbye. Hasta mañana. Oh, another one. Cool. All right, so let's use our calculator here and, and punch in. Wow, the whole thing moved in it. All right, we'll get squared away here in a minute. Beautiful. All right, so the log button gives you the exponent. So when you hit that LOG button, it is going to give you the exponent. When you input and... We call it, I just call it the number, you can call it the result. So the calculator, the log button gives you the exponent when you input the number or the result. 
Okay, so log 392, you're basically going to input it, depending on your calculator. On my calculator, I can push the log button first, and then the 3 button, the 9 button, and the 2 button. And in some calculators, you have to hit equal or enter. In other calculators, it'll give you the value right away. So it's pretty straightforward. You just punch in 392, your log button, or log 392. Actually, my but my calculator, I can do 392 first and then hit the log button. Okay, you're getting an exponent. And so there becomes an issue in how we're going to give our answer to how many places. Usually, we're going to like four places on these because a little bit makes a difference when you're talking about an exponent. So I'm going to 2.5933 when you round off to that fourth place. 2.5933. And again, on these, you should be asking, does my answer make sense? And it just takes a second. You know, what is our problem here? 10 to what power is 392? Well, 10 squared is 100 and 10 cubed is 1,000. So we better be between 2 and 3. And guess what? We're between 2 and 3. So Demams likes the answer. Sounds good. And, and again, once you start realizing that all these are common logs base 10, then you look at number 2, and you got 7,000. So again, 10 cubed is 1,000, right? 10 to the 4th is 10,000, so we better be between 3 and 4. All right, so let's just punch it in. So go ahead and do that one, 7345. Again, make sure you can figure out your calculator and you're getting the right answer. So again, I'm, I'm going to go to four decimal places, 3.8660. All right, I'm including the O because that's the place I did round to, right? And I had a 599. Anybody having issues with the calculator besides the one that just fell and broke? Anybody? <laughs> question all right so again these should be easy number three 10 to what power gives you a number smaller than one all right so that's the question right so just punch it out right and how you're going to get a, a, a answer smaller than one is when the exponent is negative, right? What's 10 to the negative 1? It's 1 tenth, right? 0.1. And so we're expecting a negative answer, and this thing is, what, negative 0.3468. So honestly, punching buttons is pretty easy. No sweat. All right, try number 4. Everybody like their answer number four? All right, depends on your calculator. So what are some calculators? Can somebody tell me what your calculator is saying? Domain error. Domain error. Syntax error. What else? Anything else your calculator is saying? What, Matt, what does it say? Math error. Okay. All right, depends on the calculator what it's programmed to say when this happens. So what's going on? So what's going on? Why, why is our calculator giving us an error? Could you what? Come on, what's the problem? Did I punch it wrong? Is my calculator broke? What's going on? What do I say? What's going on? So figure out what's going on. Figure out what's going on. Come on, figure out what's going on. All right, so everybody now has figured out what's going on, right? Because what's the whole key to logarithms? Being able to switch forms so you can think what's going on, right? Because nobody knows what log negative 3.5 means. So we all do this. 10 to the x equals negative 3.5. And now you're trying to figure out how you can raise 10 to a power and get a negative answer. Right? Isn't that what you're trying to do? What's 10 squared? 100. 
what's 10 to the 0.5 power? It's the square root of 10, right? 10 to the half is the square root of 10. So that's going to be like 3 point something, right? Square root of 10. All right, what's 10 to the negative 1? 1 tenth. Is that positive or negative? It's positive. What's 10 to the negative 2? 1 one hundredth. Negative 3, 1 one thousandth. Negative sixth, one, one millionth, right? Negative ninth, one, one billionth. Negative 99th, one over 10 to the 99. What are we getting closer and closer to? Zero. You can't get to negative, and this is the issue. You can't have a base to an exponent um, that's the base itself isn't negative and come up with a negative output. It's impossible. So this is no solution. It doesn't exist. And your calculator told you that when it said syntax error and all that other stuff. Okay, so that's what your calculator was telling you, though you may not have known it at the time. All right, going the other way is your 10 to the X button. 10 to the X button gives you the number. Sometimes I say the result when you instead input the exponent. So if you convert number one first off, then you begin to understand what's going on. All right, the base isn't shown, but it's base 10, and the exponent is shown, it's 4, right? So we're trying to figure out what 10 to the fourth power is, and your button uh, makes it so you don't have to use, you don't have to punch in 10, and then your X to the Y button, or your carrot button, and then 4. You can just punch in the 4 and your 10 to the X button, or 10 to the X button, and then the 4. It depends on your calculator what order. Older calculators, you usually do the 4 first. Oh, and by the way, to get above your button, you know you got to do your second button, right? And so hopefully you got 10,000. By the way, I don't know how many of you guys lost a half a point on your last test because you didn't want to put a comma in your numbers and you got to make the person reading your number figure out what in the world number it is. So stop being lazy and selfish and not putting commas in your numbers so that the poor person trying to read your answer has to count all the places. All right? Put the commas in there. All right, so that's 10 to the fourth. That makes sense. Okay? So again, just go through and knock all those out. Those should be easy. Go through, do 2, 3, and 4 and see where you end up. Any questions on any of those four? Just doing 10 of the X button. 10 of the X button. Okay, so what are we talking about so far today? Common log. What is a common log? It's when the base is um, 10. We usually don't show the um, base in the common log. Matter of fact, we're not supposed to show the base in the common log. You're supposed to know it's base 10. Then you've got your logarithm button on your calculator. The log button um, is uh, going to give you the exponent, right? So when you use the log button, you're finding an exponent. When you use your 10 to the X button, you're finding the number. All right. It's going crazy. Moved everything out of, out of order, but who cares? All right. A couple other special situations. Special cases. Log 1. This could be log 1 in base X, log 1 in base 7, log 1 in base 39, log 1 in base 2X to the YZ. Uh, it could be any kind of base. So in this situation, change that form. Go ahead and change the form. And you'll figure out what it equals. You could use your calculator too, but just change the form. So hopefully you said 10 to what power equals 1, right? And therefore we know this equals 0. Because again, the result is 1 and any base to the 0 power equals 1. So if it was log 1 and base x, then it's still going to equal 0. And x to the 1 equals 0. Um, no matter what it is, the result's going to be zero, or the 
exponent's going to be zero if you have log one. It's just the way it is in any base. The second situation, let me get rid of my shade here. So go ahead and convert that. So again, if we know the base is 10 and we're given the exponent, so that's really what's being asked this time, right? 10 to what power equals 1? Or 10 to the first power equals what? And the answer is 10. And so here, what are we saying on this one? So what would be the answer to this? What would be the answer to that? And the answer is going to be 7, right? You get the base, right? Because it's 7 to the first power equals what? 7. You know, if you had if you had something like this, then what do you get? The base, 2x. Because, again, you understand that this is 2x to the first power, and it's going to equal 2x. So in this case, y, z equals 2x. Okay? The point is, when you have a logarithm, and the result, or the book says the number is 1, then it equals the base. In the first example, when you have 1 there, then it's going to equal a 0 every time. All right. Any questions? Anybody? Okay, so biggest thing so far. you got to know how to convert between log form and exponent form, exponent and log form. And now we just figured out what common logs are, so we got to make sure we can use our calculator. I have a worksheet for you today, and that will be it for today. So.